Hi everyone, this is Jan Johnson and I want you to see a little bit of my garden because now it is end of August and if I don't do it now, I will lose the opportunity. So let me show you a little bit about the flowers and the plants here and uh, talk a little bit about what you could do in your garden. Come and follow me. I don't know if you can tell, but that is the back of my house with the windows. And I needed to build up the soil around the base of the house and disregard the neighbor. He's making a lot of noise. So what I did was I placed some rocks. Come look down. I placed some rocks, backfilled it with soil, and then I started to plant. That's a nice, inexpensive solution for a wall. So, right here, this is boxwood. I put that, nice evergreen backdrops. They're all year round. Deer don't eat it. And in front, I planted impatience. See the impatience? These are double impatience right here. Gorgeous color, isn't it? And next to the impatience, I have a variety of coleus. Come look down below here. And this is called Yellow Creeping Jenny. And it's a great contrast to all this great color that we have on top. Is that a nice yellow and orange? Okay, just a few more things. Come look over here. Angelonia. This is the white Angelonia. And we have the, the blades left over from the Siberian Iris, which bloomed about June, July. And then one more thing I want to show you, because this is the time of year for it to be in gorgeous bloom, is the, um, well, that's the carex over there. See this? This is variegated carex. It's not a grass, it's a sedge. But it looks great, doesn't it? You don't eat that either. And look over here. This is a panacetum, hamelin. It's a dwarf fountain grass. And this is the time of year when it has these beautiful flowers on it. This too is deer resistant. So if you like that, and it's all planted along my dry stream. So please just take a look at the dry stream. And that's it. So I hope you liked it. Bye.